Hey, this is Rochelle, your microbiology study strategist. In this video, I'll share my tips to remembering the effects of oxygen on aerobes and anaerobes. For a more in-depth video, click the i card or the link in the description box, or click the link that is pinned in the comment. Obligate aerobes. They require oxygen to live. They also extract more energy from nutrients than anaerobes. Next, I'll show you a tip on how to remember obligate aerobes and the oxygen effect. So here I use the O in aerobes and I spell oxygen. Facultative anaerobes. These are bacteria that can grow in the presence of oxygen and in the absence of oxygen. When oxygen is absent, we see fermentation or anaerobic respiration. Now in fermentation or anaerobic respiration, there is a low production of energy. Also in fermentation and anaerobic respiration, we see other electron acceptors. These uh, electron acceptors are nitrate, sulfate, and carbonate. An example or two here, we have um, E. coli and we have yeast. Now, this is how I remember facultative anaerobes. I use the N and I spell no oxygen. And I use the O and I spell oxygen. Obligate anaerobes. These microbes are unable to use oxygen for energy yielding reactions. Now here is an example of an obligate anaerobe and it's clostridium and they cause tetanus and botulism. Now in obligate anaerobes, in this word I use the N in anaerobes and spell no oxygen. Aerotolerant anaerobes. Now, oxygen is not required for growth, but they can tolerate it. They can also ferment carbohydrates to lactic acid. Now, too much lactic acid will inhibit the growth of aerobic competitors. Now, in order for them to tolerate oxygen, they possess SOD or superoxide dismutase, which neutralizes toxic forms of oxygen. Now, example is lactobacilli. Here I use the O in aerotolerant to spell oxygen, and I use the N in anaerobes to spell no oxygen. Microaerophiles. These microorganisms require oxygen. They are aerobic. Now the oxygen concentration needed has to be lower than the amount of oxygen in the air. Now here I use the A and spell aerobic, and I use the O to spell oxygen.